the most important thing is that we have gotten comfortable in a comfortable life that is not where we want to be. And you want to break the pattern. You want to break the pattern forward. Well, you have to start to change the habits that persist and exist in your daily life that continue to keep you where you are. All right, welcome back to the Live 100 Podcast. I am Jason Yerusi. This is your place to break your bad habits, build your future success, and you magnify your results. If you want to fast track your journey to unstoppable growth and greatness, this is your place to come and get the actionable, tactical steps to take action today. Not just have intention, but actually act on the intention and make it happen. So today, we're going to talk forward about how to move past failure. So many times in life, our decisions are based on what has happened to us in the past. And most of the time, it comes from a place of fear, not of growth, not of potential, but of fear, right? We make decisions each and every day about what has happened. And you could think of anything, right? You can think of anything that's happened to dictate where you are in your life. So as we're born, right, we have two fears, the fear of going down and the fear of loud noises. However, can you think of how many things you're afraid of today? Are you afraid of maybe jumping off a step? Are you afraid of bats? Are you afraid of, you know, uh, walking on ice? Are you afraid of just, you know, loud noise? Are you afraid of the potential of getting on an airplane? Are you afraid of success, right? There are all these fears that are in front of us that have been built into us over time that now dictate the way we make decisions. So today I want to talk about a tactical approach about how we're going to go out there and see success, see success in the future, not just today, because if we can take action, understanding what has happened in our past, that's going to empower us forward. Now, failure is part of life. That just means you're trying. That means you're going out there and taking action. If you don't have some part of failure in your life, well, then you're probably not stretching your balance. You're probably not reaching outside your comfort zone. You're probably not expanding to find what your limitations and your limits are in life because we have to fail to move forward. Right. I, I had um talk to my son the other day is that he didn't want to try something because he didn't think he'd be able to do it. Right. Or he didn't think, you know, he was going to be good enough. But honestly, if it's the first time you're doing something, how good, how great, how proficient do you think you're going to be? Right. We forget the point on life. Right. And he's, he's young. He's only nine years old. And it's already coming apart. Is that, oh, I might try that and not be good at it. Well, when do we get good, right? We may never get good, but we have to take the steps to figure it out, right? We have to be figure it outable. If that's the word you want to use there. We have to impose in our life that we're going to go and take actual steps along our journey to try things, to discover what is our potential. So today I want you to think past. I want you to think about what it is, right? What has failed before? And I want you to take the lessons from that. You want to take the lessons. There's a learning phase in each and everything we do. Had something bad happen, right? Had a divorce, right? Lost someone who's close, right? Someone died to you, had, you know, had a massive failure in business, right? Um, didn't hit your goals within your, your, your growth goals, you know, broke a leg, right? These are events that of course we don't want them to happen, but you're still standing here listening to me today. So you have empowered through it. So why not take the lesson that has come from that to make you a better person? going forward to make you have the path forward to be able to fast track where you want to go, right? You want to live 100, You are, there are going to be failures along the road. There is no one out there in a place of success that has not had a ton of failures. Failure is just part of the road. It's just, you know, even when we drive places, right? Even when today, even with technology, Google Maps, right? Google Maps, you know, the satellite breaks and all of a sudden we're out, we're just lost where we're going, right? And we're out in the universe taking wrong turns and having to make U-turns, right? That's just like life, right? We have a path, right? The path is, oh, I'm going to use Google Maps. It's going to give me A to B. And then along the way, maybe there's road construction. Or maybe we get uh, caught where the um, the map doesn't update. And now we're lost on the side and we have to figure our way back. That is the journey of life. We want to go to a destination. It is not going to be a straight path. And that's okay. But when it has not been a straight path, what lesson have we taken back from here? What discipline did we put forward? How did we persevere through that moment of time? So you want to, instead of thinking of failure as a bad thing, you have to shift your mindset to say, okay, that happened. Yeah, not ideal. But in a positive way, 
How can I prevent that or build upon that? So as I can take a lesson forward to make this something of a learning step to help me be better in the future. If today you take that step forward and you say, you know what? Not ideal. But again, if I don't want this to happen again, what lesson do I learn? And then don't repeat it, right? So many times we, we keep getting the same results because we keep doing the bad things, right? That's what we talk about the first step here, the first block, the first foundational block in Live 100 is breaking your bad habits. That's the most important thing is that we have gotten comfortable in a comfortable life that is not where we want to be. And you want to break the pattern. You want to break the pattern forward. Well, you have to start to change the habits that persist and exist in your daily life that continue to keep you where you are. So look at where you are today. Okay, what have been the things that have happened that have conditioned you to where you are, right? Oh, you you um you know you had an, an accident, right? Or you had an injury and it's kept you from working out. So even as you've now gotten better, you haven't worked out, right? So you've gotten out of shape, you've gotten 20, 30, 50 pounds. So you say, okay, I've gained weight. So now it's more resolved that I'll just eat bad, right? So you've created to have these habits that are layered on, right? You're building them on. But that was the event. That is not your path forward. So the lesson from this is something we can build upon. So as we do this, we have to shift our mindset forward to say, okay, that was the lesson. I need to shift my mindset to learn from that lesson and then carry forward. Now, past that, we can't forget about them, but we can forgive ourselves. We don't want to forget about what happened because that just gives us the opportunity to repeat it in the future, right? So we want to take the lesson from that, but then forgive ourselves. We, we don't have to say, hey, I forgot it, right? If you had a bad breakup, you know, you had uh, a death in the family, you had these things that have been horrific in your life, right? Well, you have to find the positive to move forward and forgive yourself for what part you played in that journey that was not ideal because you can only move forward. You can't go back and change your path. You can't go back and change your past, but what you can use, you can use the steps that have happened in your past to create a magnificent future forward. Now, you will fail, fail again. So instead of the next time failing and saying, woe is me, right? Looking like Eeyore and just saying, oh, look at me. Oh, poor me. Well, okay, not ideal. What can I learn from this? How can I move forward, have my mindset ready to take action, to understand the steps, forgive myself for what happens and don't repeat it, right? Don't repeat the process so it doesn't happen again because mistakes are our steps of learning. We have to learn from what's happening in our daily life to become our best selves, right? All the inventions, all the creations, right? We think about this, uh, you know, we think about a people who, you know, um, uh, just any creation, anything that has been invented, right? It did not work the first time. And to get where we are today, to have these things, to have these magnificent things, you can think about anything, you know, James Dyson, right? Just how many times he failed thousands of times to get to the perfect vacuum, right? If he said the first time, you know what? Ah, man, I just really failed. What a mistake this was trying. You would never have the growth. We would never have the innovation in life. Well, why are we not innovating in ourselves? We, why are we not being our best selves? Why are we not being our best versions? It's because we're telling ourselves that our failures dictate our future. And your failures do not dictate your future. You dictate your future. You need to have the intention of positivity in your daily life. And it is not easy. I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, my day, every, every day is perfect, right? I wake up with the same fears, failures, uh, you know, focus going forward that I have to look at and say, what am I learning, right? What am I forgiving? What am I taking as a lesson? How am I carrying this forward? But everything I've done has helped me build to build better. When I run long races or when I do workouts, right, I hurt things. I get sore. I have to look and adjust and how to figure it. Like, how do I get up tomorrow and do this again? How do I get up tomorrow and be proactive with my journey based on what happened yesterday, right? So if you can keep discipline to get up tomorrow, just get up, look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? Yesterday was not what I wanted. What can I learn from that? What can I take away to make today just 1% better? If you compound 1% over the course of a year, 365 days, it's about 3,000% of improvement. So if you can take a bad thing that happened yesterday and just improve it 1% and continue to do that, continue to do that, you will be on the other side of greatness. You will be on your path to live 100 because you're breaking your bad habits step at a time, building yourself forward to take action today, crushing your journey forward so you can have the unstoppable growth and greatness that you desire and you deserve. So let's get out there today, take action, Move to your next step. Forget about what has happened. Forgive yourself. Move forward. Take action. Let's crush the day. 
All right, so if you got value in that, make sure you go down there, give us a rating review, share this with someone else who needs this in their life today so they can go out there and crush their journey as well and move fear out from the roadblock that's in front of them. Let's do this.